The first step, go to google.com. On your search bar, type in uh, Office Deployment Tool. Look at it there, Office Deployment Tool. All right. Click on the first result, the Download Office Deployment Tool. All right. And then it will take you to this particular page on Microsoft website. Click the download and it will download Office Deployment Tool quickly for you. All right. So let's go to Office Deployment Tool. This is it. Right click. Cut. Then close the downloader. Minimize your browser for now. On your desktop, create a folder. Let's call it Office 2024. Enter key. Open it. Paste what you just downloaded. Inside this folder, create another folder. Call this folder Office 24. Enter key. All right, so we'll have to create it now. Go to this Office Deployment tool. Right-click on it. Click Run as Administrator. Say Yes. Click to Agree, Accept a License, and Continue. You need to navigate to the Office 2020 folder. Click Office 24, the folder inside. Click OK. And it says file extracted successfully. Click OK. Now, double click on Office 24, that folder. We don't need all these files. We're going to delete all of them. You're going to delete uh, one, hold on, control key two, uh, and three. Press shift, delete. Yes, delete. I'm left with only this. Uh, right click to rename this file be careful here so that you don't remove the dot xml delete it and leave it on configuration dot xml all right the next step is to click go to the link provided in the description below Okay, get the configuration code. This is the configuration code. All right, this is the XML configuration code that you need. Go top left, click copy. Go back, minimize. Let's open this folder again. Open this one. Go to the configuration.xml, open it right here. Let's expand it, highlight, press Ctrl V to paste. This is what you just copied. All right, but uh, we don't need all of the, uh, the the programs that are going to be installed by this configuration code if we proceed right away from here. We don't need Visual Pro 2024. We don't need Project Pro 2024 and this installation. But if you need this, okay, you don't need to touch anything here. You just go straight to the next uh, step but in our own case we don't need this so we're going to remove one and two through this yes yes take note the first is uh, this product id visual and second is product id project pro 2024 and it stops here take note this is very serious you need to be careful there hit delete hit delete and delete again okay so Make sure you, you, you're careful here to, to avoid making mistakes or changing any code here. If you do, this process will not work properly for you. The last thing you have to do is to save the changes. Click File, click Save. And close this file. The last step, let's go back to that uh, Microsoft page again. Microsoft page. The link is provided in the description below. We need this. We need this con this setup configuration. Double, double click on it. Uh, copy. 
let's minimize this. Now, this folder, come to the address bar, click, enter CMD, enter key. All right. Now paste the code you just copied, the setup code. Control V is pasted. Hit your enter key here and wait for Microsoft Office 2024 to begin installation process. All right. The next screen you see is this uh, screen that says uh, getting things, Microsoft getting things started. And after waiting for a long while, this uh, screen will also pop up. Now, this installation process takes quite a long, long, long while. Eventually, it gets to this point where we need to now copy the code, the Microsoft activation license. Yeah, so that uh, after this phase, we open uh, one of the programs that have been installed and try to activate it. All right, so let's copy it now. And then uh, we'll go there. We'll open Microsoft Word, for example, to try to activate it. Uh, all right, so let's open Microsoft Word now. We'll open Microsoft Word. Oh, great. Now, this is the license activation screen. It says you have to agree to this license and all that. It says Microsoft Office uh, LTSA Professional Plus 2024 preview include these apps, about six of them. Okay, uh, her, about six of these apps. I think Word, Excel, PowerPoint, uh, Outlook, OneNote, and Access. All right, that is what. Uh, this program has been able to install. Remember, we, we, we removed Visio as well as Microsoft Project from the configuration code. So we'll have to accept the license now. All right, and then after accepting license, let's go and try to activate the product, the, the program. Ooh, we're here now. All right, what, what do we see in here? Okay, uh, it, it looks, this looks great. Uh, it says, Office product activated. Product activated. This is wonderful. I didn't uh, think this activation uh, has been automatic. Probably picked up uh, the previous uh, 2019 program that I had activated on the system. Okay, so, all right. If uh, yours shows activation, you know what to do. You know, you have the code. You just uh, activate it, and that's all. All right. Thanks for your time. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to always uh, come back. Thank you very much.